Hello gamers, today I am back on the epic journey to find the real hidden gems in the gaming peripheral market. Somewhere out there is a product that is so cheap but so good that it will shock the gaming market to its core with how incredible a product it is for a low low price. I'm like an archaeologist in a film that's trying to uncover the fabled stone tablet of Azraeel. But in actuality, I'm just trying to rummage through the bargain bin to see what I can find. Will it be usable? Could I play games with it? Well, I'm not going to find out here, so let me just go on Amazon real quick. Here is today's contender. It is Gaming Mouse, Wired Gaming Mouse, USB Optical Computer Mice with Backlit, 6 programmable buttons up to 6400 DPI optical sensor, made by Tauweer. Now this piqued my interest for many many reasons. One, it's a mouse with holes in it, which means that it should be incredibly light. Two, it's only $13. No need to install the driver. Look at the compatibility. It supports Windows XP, Windows 7, 8, 10, Vista, Android, Linux, Mac OS, Chrome OS, multi-platform. You have honeycomb decoration, which is surely more than a decoration because... You know, there's a purpose behind this honeycomb. Come on, it's not just a fad. Non-slip comfortable roller. Hollow wings. 98 grams lightweight, easy to control. A lightweight mouse isn't 98 grams. A lightweight mouse would be around about, I'd say 70 grams. 80 grams seems to be the cutting off point for a lot of people in terms of a lightweight mouse. Let's have a look at some reviews. This was on the 21st of March, so recently. Bad mouse. I do not like this mouse. It came broke and flimsy. There was an issue with the left click. Well, I feel like I'm the expert here. That can surely really give everybody the deciding factor on how good this mouse is. Let's buy it. Bam! It's here. Now, there's a few things that was missing from the Amazon page. There's apparently a G540, so easily confused with a Logitech mouse, which may, dare I say, be the objective. Hopefully it's going to be light. It's, it's made by... T Wolf. We've got colourful breathing lights, 64,000 precise position DPI, 1000 hertz response rate. This I'm actually very interested in. If it's actually 1000 hertz, that's. I don't think I've used a 1000 hertz mouse yet of all the cheap ones that I've bought. So we'll most definitely test it. Now there's there's two things here as well. RGB light, ordinary light, and ordinary light is ticked. I don't know if you can see it but it's also clearly been ticked with an actual pen. So someone manually has marked this as an ordinary light mouse. Everything on the rest of here is pretty standard, pretty non-exciting, dare I say. But I am very much looking forward to this because it looks like an actual gaming mouse. All the others, I'll be honest, they've looked like gaming mice, but they've looked like gaming mice for maybe 10 year olds. Whereas this looks like a gaming mouse for a sophisticated old person. I'm just going to cut away real quick whilst I try and open this box. I get nervous, you see. Alright, I've done it. It was only because you weren't looking. Now, apparently there is software for this. Because I value my passwords, I really, really, really don't want to install it. we got some uh, literature here. Key life is 20 million. 98 grams and here it is now i have just had a thought could it be 98 grams including the cable let me just have a little look first of all right it looks apart from the cable right let's just get this out of the way this is clearly not a good cable it's incredibly glossy it really feels so stiff it's insane oh my days this is not what you want to see i have in fact i have just released a snake onto my mouse pad the shape of this is actually pretty nice it, it feels like a, an ec kind of mouse it's actually quite comfortable dare i say so first of all they've done a good job with the shape it does rattle the mouse one and two buttons actually feel pretty nice they're quite rigid there's a slight bit of mushiness to them scroll wheel this is most certainly a dreadful scroll wheel. I can hardly feel the notches. Side buttons, they work, even though they are the, the source of all the noise. The feet feel terrible. It doesn't even feel like there's any mouse feet there. This is actually very, very bad. This is awful. The 
clearance on, on these mouse feet are minimal. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to try um, a slightly harder mouse pad. This is a Cordura pad, so it's a little bit more um, closer to a hard pad, really, I think. It's no better. I feel like I'm chopping, or oh, sorry, sawing wood a bit. After a while, I'm actually going to have a hole in my desk. Um, test the polling rate on this. Dare I say that this is misleading. But regardless, I mean, we've got to give it a going game first. So it could still have a time for it to redeem itself. First thing I have noticed is that the lift off distance on this is incredibly high. It really is. It's we're kind of looking at around about five millimeters. This okay, this is just terrible. I mean it's the thing is right this cable is just making so much noise because it flaps around everywhere and uh, honestly it it just feels terrible there's there's points where i guess it is actually sk skipping so it's 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 not spinning out so it's not just like normally what happens is like you'll move around and then like you'll suddenly just fling to the air it just doesn't keep up the thing is right this shape isn't bad um, the switches are actually pretty decent, they're usable. It's not as bad as I thought it would be. It's still bad, do not get me wrong, it's still bad, but could I play a game with this? Yes, I could, but I really don't want to, so I'm not going to, because the mouse feet on this mouse pad is just absolutely terrible. So yeah, I'm not going to make myself suffer for your entertainment. It's just not worth it for me. I'm awfully sorry. And with the lift off distance, I just, I just, I'll just lose my mind. But you're gonna have to excuse the quality of my scales. Um, I do use this for food. All right, so it's 66 grams. So yeah, it's, um, it is actually an ultra light gaming mouse. So there's, there's one good thing. Actually, there's two good thing. It looks like a nice mouse. So in terms of mice and how they look, this one doesn't look that bad. It looks like a, a, a nice mouse. It looks like it could be a half decent product, which is probably, you know, in terms of like the marketing space, another good thing is that they've made a mouse that looks okay. The side buttons are well positioned, so everything's within reach. Everything feels nice and snug against my hand. However, I feel like that is where the um, the positives end abruptly. Fortunately, it's got to play well in game. It doesn't. Um, it's got to have usable mouse feet. It doesn't. It completely falls flat on that. The cable is terrible. I mean, just look at this. It's this. This is. A, it's just. A, it's just a, a shocking, terrible cable. This is. It's so rigid. It's so stiff. I mentioned earlier how it's a bit like a snake and. I wouldn't be surprised after using this for a bit longer, it will just wrap its, you know, itself around me and start suffocating me somehow. You know, it feels like it has a mind of its own. It clearly does. The side buttons are so light, they, they, they just move at the slightest touch. And for in-game use as well, it's just atrocious. You know what? This could have been a good mouse. So if it wasn't, you know, if, if it had better feet, if it had a better cable, it could be a usable mouse, and it could be a good mouse, dare I say. Yeah, there's, there's just parts of this where it's like, all right, this looks good, and then, you know, it just soils itself. And then you think, oh, I, I don't think my mouse should really be doing that. This mouse is um, half good, half bad. Actually, I, I don't know, I kind of feel like, because the bad parts are really bad now that I think about it a little bit more. The bad parts are awful. The good parts are are acceptable. They good a good shape is all right. Um, it's lightweight, so that's good. But then all the downsides are absolutely rock bottom in terms of acceptability. It just makes this an unusable piece of garbage. So I can honestly say to you to not buy this mouse for anyone, especially a ten year old that wants a, a gaming mouse or an eight year old, because 
you know the, the cable you'll you'll find them at the desk and they'll be wrapped around head to toe in the cable like a mummy so it's i think personally i think it's a hazard and not only that because of the mouse feet Can you imagine, you know, you've given this to little Jimmy, who's playing Roblox, and you just hear this all night, every night. It would drive you mad. It drives me mad already. So, you know, that's just the mouse feet. So I'd uh, highly suggest to not buy this mouse.